Hey folks, everything new under the sun. I've always mentioned, uh, and I have for the past couple of years, that uh, we will be going to a Mad Max scenario, whether it's economic collapse, World War III, um, you know, grid down, communications down scenarios. There will be roving gangs of marauders looking for easy targets, easy uh, places to find food, easy places to find energy, easy places, you know, they see your solar panels and uh, they come after you. Um, they uh, note that you have power in the middle of the night when nobody else has power and maybe that means you also have food and other things. There's going to be groups of uh, bandits, marauders, heading out of the cities, uh, going into the countryside, looking for what they can plunder. Not because they uh, would normally have when times were good, but because they're desperate. Maybe they're fathers and they have children or families to feed and, you know, they're not Christian, so they don't care otherwise. So they're doing what they need to do and they're going to take what you have. And this is a real and, and present uh, concern. And this particular guy, uh, Mr. Guns and Gear Channel, he, he brings up an important point that this video really is for uh, the men of the household, the fathers, uh, the protectors, uh, you know, um, traditionally, obviously. Uh, you may need to uh, do something else, but, uh, you know, the men are traditionally the protectors um, and uh, um, the security providers uh, of the household. You need to have some understanding, at least be aware that you may be called upon to defend um, your house, your family against not one invader, but multiple groups of invaders, you know, streaming out of the cities when things go sideways, what are you going to do? And uh, now you need to do what's legal in your country, in your area. Um, we are quite limited in Canada for what options we have. And, you know, the, when things go Mad Max, there will be no rules for the marauders. Um, if it's illegal to have guns where you are, you can bet that the criminals will still have guns because they're not following the laws, are they? So depending on where you are, this is going to be hard, but you need options. Um, and I suggest, I'm going to put this link in the description, um, but I'd suggest you look at your home security. I did a video about um, basically a, a deadbolt type thing for your door. It wasn't a deadbolt, but uh, just a lock on the inside um, that can't uh, be uh, picked, you know, lock picked. It can't be, can't be jimmied open with uh, a crowbar, uh, etc. Um, and if people are going to break into your house, you're going to know about it. It's going to be quite loud because they're going to have to break that device completely. There's going to be no quiet way, uh, no uh, quiet entry. So things like that for home security, you know, prevent them from getting in. Um, but then you do need to seriously think. And I don't have answers. I'm not allowed to give answers on YouTube. But you need to think about what you can do, what's legal in your area, um, to address this idea of um, having to deal with uh, multiple assailants who are looking for an easy target, who have invaded your home, um, and y it's up to you then to protect your family. Do you have a safe place? Do you have a plan? Do you have a tool that can be used in the event of not one, but possibly multiple uh, folks with, you know, things that are going to go bang, bang, uh, and that you need to then deal with? This is a real and present danger. This is something you need to think about. Uh, check out this video. Uh, it's quite interesting. And... Um, you know, uh, let me, I guess, let me know in the comments what, what you're doing. Have you thought about this? I live in a very, very peaceful place where uh, it would never be uh, conceived that it would ever happen, that it would ever happen. And, you know, it's, it's inconceivable that it would ever happen where I am. But when things go sideways, people will go crazy. People will get desperate. There aren't enough police officers to protect everyone. As happened in Israel... If they had a plan, and he talks about this, when the gangs went around, when the Hamas gangs went around in the kibbutzes, uh, and there were no police around, what did the families do? All they could do is lock themselves in the house, and they get they got burned out or, or whatever. Um, you know, I don't I don't want to say too much, uh, you know, to, you know, flag the video, um, but 
uh, they didn't have any options because legally they weren't allowed to have firearms, uh, not significant firearms, that's that's for sure. In the United States, you can have an AR-15. Um, you know, in Canada, you're not. That's a, that's a prohibited weapon, a firearm. You're not allowed to have that. So what do you do when you have multiple people? Um, I... You know, I will say uh, what what is um, uh, what what is legal in in Canada, and uh, which, which what is a nice um, firearm uh, for target shooting is uh, a lever action, and uh, you know, for example, lever action Henrys. Um, you know, those those will take a those will take a magazine of a few uh, freedom seeds. And, and uh, they, they do cycle fairly quickly. So those are the things you need to think about. Uh, what options do you have? If you don't have a, um, a tool that goes as fast as what he is talking about, um, then what options do you have? Um, and are there other options? Um, uh, bear spray, for example, that sort of thing. Um, that, that would be very useful. Um, a paintball gun shooting, uh, you know, uh, balls of, uh, you know, bear spray, uh, that could work. Um, so you need to think outside the box. Just be, just recognize that when things go sideways, there will be groups of people desperate who may not otherwise have uh, been criminals, but in desperate times, um, you know, desperate measures are required and people will go crazy. They will do what they need to do. So you need to be ready for that. I will leave there. I'll keep it short, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments.